Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. Really easy to remember my next guest's names because he's one of my favorite artists of, of all time. And my next guest probably one of my favorite artists of all times coming up shortly as well when I find out the wonderful art that she does. I'm joined by Kat Stevens, organizer and artisan Kat with the Stevens. Pakenham Maple Run uh, Tour. Kat, call, welcome to the show. Assistant. Great to have you. And you were just joking my... that people always say to you, is that really your name or did you? <laughs> it really is your name, really Kat Stevens. And you actually happen to be a fan of, of the, the musician Kat Absolutely. Stevens as well, right? Yeah. And I designed some pieces, and I actually call them after some of his songs. I, yeah, I love it. Well, let's talk about this this tour, the um, the Packenham Maple Run tour. It's what going on 19th edition now. This is the 19th edition. We had a little hiatus, uh, yeah. unfortunately for for COVID, but we're back, and we're so keen to be back, and uh, we're just delighted. When when did you uh, start with with the Packenham tour? Uh, probably about seven or eight years okay. ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pakenham, first of all, let's talk about it. Because you asked me, have you ever been to Pakenham? And I told you that, you know, my parents, that was the thing we used to do. We, we used to go on road trips to Perth and Pakenham and Almont and, you know, yeah. you, you name it. How would you describe Pakenham to, to people that have never visited? Such a beautiful little village. It has an original general store. And, of course, it has two of the seven wonders of Lanark County in it. One is a, a St. Peter Celestine Church, yeah. and one is the famous Pakenham Five Span Bridge, which you can cross if you go on the tour. And they used to have an ice cream shop, right? Is it still there? So it won't be open for Maple Run because right, it's right. a little yeah. early in the season. I just was checking because it's, it's nostalgia still, for me. Yes, right? it's we used to go to that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about what people can find on the tour. You've obviously brought some examples here, and we'll go through some of those. But what types of arts and, and crafts can people find on the tour? There are so many that it would be a big breath <laughs> in to sort of t uh, tell you about them all. But we really try and get a very diverse array of artistic expressions. So we have jewelry, we have quilting, we have painting and different flavors of painting right. too. So uh, we have uh, watercolors, we have landscape painting of the Ottawa Valley, um, we have leather work, we have wow. ceramics, yeah, so you can get a really nice belt. Um, <laughs> we have ceramics, we have, um, oh my goodness. Uh, so Soaps, yes, right. thank you. Uh, we have photography, uh, nature photography, and um, beautiful landscape you photography. You were kidding when you said you'd have to take a huge, take a breath. Huge, and we have weaving. Um, wow. And we have weaving uh, both of you know if you thought of a shawl, but we also have a basket weaver as well. So nice. yeah. So how how, do, how are the artists chosen to be part of this tour? Well, some of our artists are repeat artists, and in fact, we have artists that come from up the Ottawa Valley and across Eastern Ontario, and they're always so keen to come back. Nice. One, of, one of our artists is from uh, Quadville, which is up uh, near Wilno, and we have another artist from Killaloo who's new this year, um, but people come from all over. So we invite them back, and then we always look for new artists to join the tour as we have space to host them. Why is it called the Maple Run Tour? It's a really good question. A lot of people ask that. Uh, it's because it coincides with spring, early spring, right. uh, the spring runoff, the um, sort of welling up of creativity that happens, but most importantly in our area, uh, the maple syrup season. Yeah. So one of the places you can visit when you go on the Maple Run Tour is the Fulton's Pancake House and, I excuse me, well. Maple Shop. Yeah. And um, they have, uh, of course, one of the largest sugar bushes in the area. And maple syrup and the whole uh, welling up of the sap is part of, I think, our, our DNA when we live in that area. So yeah. Maple Run is all about <laughs> spring. I love it. I love it. Um, so, yeah, you have brought some examples here. I think, yeah. you know, we were, we were going through some. But um, tell me, it, you, you probably brought a piece that you've done. I did. What, uh, what medium do you work in? I work... I make gemstone jewelry using okay. a technique called wire crochet. Very nice. And so you're wearing a piece, I'm right? I'm wearing a piece. And you've got a couple of pieces in front of you there? I do. So this particular one is quite new. I tend to get a lot of inspiration from music, as you might guess. Yeah. And this particular piece is called Here Comes the Sun. Nice. From another <laughs> famous musician. Beatles, one and of my favorite all time, yep. if not my very favorite, actually. There you go. So uh, this one is designed in a stone called citrine. and 
I, th I made it during one of our February blizzards, and I think I was really trying to invoke spring. So I was thinking <laughs> nice. sun and, you know, what, what brings warmth. And uh, citrine is a stone associated with optimism and positivity, and I think I was trying to be very optimistic <laughs> about m winter being over. Yeah, you've done a great job portraying it. That's, Thank you. That's for sure. Uh, the other interesting thing about this tour is is the buildings that it's yes, in, the venues absolutely. that it's in. Tell, tell me what's so special about the venues. We're very, uh, we love to showcase heritage buildings and interesting buildings in and around Pakenham. We have some great public spaces to have them in, and we're also hosted by several great businesses. So we're using, for example, uh, St. Andrews United Church, which is right on the main road in yeah. Pakenham. Beautiful heritage church with a absolutely unique um, sanctuary design. Uh, we won't be in the sanctuary, but uh, uh, we have a clothing designer studio, Pat, the Patty Mann Studio. Patty's a very uh, well-known local uh, clothing designer, and she, her studio is rarely open, so okay. this is great. Nice. Um, we have the Pakenham Public Library, which sounds a bit odd, but it's a beautifully renovated building and absolutely gorgeous. We'll have a, a center of, of uh, artists there. And then outside of Pakenham, we have uh, a brewery where you can sample craft beer. Excellent. And then we also have a hot glass studio. So if you get a little chilly, you can go and watch hot glass being made. And then um, on the other side of Pakenham, we have our newest tour stop is a, um, a cider making business called Farmgate. Okay. And they have a restored heritage barn. It's beautiful. And we're going to have a large number of artists in there. And finally, the place where I'll be is the Cedar Hill Schoolhouse. It's a one-room schoolhouse that's owned by the town of Mississippi Mills. Oh, nice. And you go in, and it still has the original chalkboards and everything else. And <laughs> What a great venue. Yeah, I, I love it's it. it's awesome. Um, and the tour is April 1st and 2nd, April right? April 1st and 2nd. And all, of course, all as as um, Kat just described, all in the Pakenham area. You can visit the website, find out you know exactly where the tour is, and Pakenham is such a wonderful place to visit. We'll be right back after this.